Hi, welcome back to my channel, Paul Stuff. It's my space on YouTube where I talk about all the things I love, lots of Star Wars, lots of lightsabers. Um, and I recently I did a, um, a video uh, where I, I talked about how to access and um, work with the SD card on your Xenopixel lightsaber. Most of my, my lightsabers are, are Xenopixels. Um, and I thought I'd revisit that and uh, do a, uh, a video which is specifically about managing sound fonts uh, on, uh, on a Xenopixel lightsaber. So how to replace a lot sound, an existing sound font with a new one, how to add a new sound font and how to add a new sound font and get rid of all the other sound fonts that are on a, on a Xenopixel. So that's what this video is about. But if you haven't already watched it, I suggest that you go and watch my previous video, which goes by the catchy title of uh, Xenopixel SD card customization and how to safely access your Xenopixel SD card in your hill. Um, go and watch that because I, at the beginning of that video, I run through how to access your SD card in your hill, which isn't always an easy process. Um, and I, I, I also talk about how to do that safely and you'll get a feel of, of what's on the SD card from that. But on now to today's video, uh, I'm going to take you away to the computer and um, we're going to have a look at um, what you need to do in order to firstly replace one of the existing sound fonts with uh, a new sound font, how to add a completely new sound font without replacing anything on the SD card, and how to replace all of the SD card sound fonts with a new sound font. So we'll look at those three things, take you to the computer to do that. Now, I'm using files on the computer that are stored on my computer. There's not an SD card plugged into it. But once you've accessed your SD card from your hill, you would literally just take your SD card and plug it into your computer and open the file and what you'll see in the next video, next part of the video is what you would see on the SD card. So I'll take you away to the video, to, uh, to the computer rather, and let's have a look at how to manage sound fonts on a Xenopixel lightsaber. Welcome back to the computer. Um, so I thought I'd do a um, demonstration of um, how you would actually replace uh, an existing sound file with another one, a uh, sound font with another one. Um, and I'll also show you how to add a new, new font from scratch. So <clears throat> first of all, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, um, Assume that you've, you've gone through the process of safely getting your SD card out of your, your Sabre and you've put it into your computer and this is what you will see when you put it into your computer. Maybe in a list format like this. Um, I tend to have it on my computer as, as bigger icons. Um, and uh, if you've watched my previous video, you will have seen me explain that um within the contents of the sd card you've got these numbered folders they're the font sound files so each numbered folder relates to a different sound font on the saber this one as you can see has 34 and then the set folder is where all of the um, settings are for the saber and all of the system sounds for the saber so um, first thing to do once you've got your SD card in the computer is to make a copy of all of this. 
Um, so you, you make a new folder, um, call it something like LGT Xenopixel Master Copy, um, and uh, copy all of these folders and the files in them into that folder so that you've got a copy of what's on the card before you start. That way, if something goes wrong, you can just clear the card and put these files back on and everything will be back to where you started. Um, if you don't make a copy and you happen to lose some of the files, they'll be gone for good. You'll have to go back to the retailer that sold you the Sabre and hope that they can give you the files to replace them. So really, really important. Make a backup copy of your SD card before you do anything at all. OK, so what we'll do to start with is <clears throat> um, we will have a look at adding a sound font uh, or replacing an existing sound font. Um, so what I've got here, I know that uh, the sound font in folder one here, this is a uh, sound font called The Chosen. So we'll just play the... The Chosen. And I know that that is, from the little text file down here, that is an Anakin-inspired um, font by Repulse Collectibles. So this is an Anakin Skywalker-inspired font. And what we want to do is to replace that font with a purchased font from uh, Kyberphonics. So, um, what we're going to do is to uh, select all of these files. And we'll select them all and then we're going to delete them out of this number one folder. So now we've got a completely blank folder. Um, you may want to empty your trash as well at this point because most computers will keep the trash file for those files on the SD card. So if you leave them on the on the SD card, you may reach a point where if you've deleted enough files off of it um, that you end up with um, with those files um, clogging up your, your SD card and you need to you know, put your SD card into the computer, open the trash, delete the trash from your SD card. Anyway, that aside, what we're gonna do now is um, we've got um, a, a sound font that I've purchased from Kyberphonics. This is their Annie 3 sound font. Um, it's um, it's a, 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 an Anakin Skywalker Episode 3. Uh, now, because Anakin becomes Darth Vader in Episode 3, we've also got this DV3 folder here, which is a Darth Vader 3 folder. So, what we're going to do is open the Annie 3 folder, and in there we'll see that we've got files for Asteria boards, CFX and Golden Harvest boards, Profi boards, Verso boards, and the one we want is the Xenopixel board. So we're going to go into that folder, and here we have all of the basic fonts, uh, font sounds for that um, for that folder. And what we're going to do is select all of those fonts and copy them. And then we're going to go back to our original number one folder and we're going to paste those into the number one folder. Um, now, 
generally when you put these fonts in they won't have music tracks attached to them but if we go back to our purchase font from um, Kyberphonics you'll see that there's an extra folder here um, so we open that we've got music and we've got quotes so we'll add some music files to it um, so we've got various different Anakin music files in here we'll just choose the first couple and we're going to copy those and we're going to paste them into um, once again into the the uh, folder numbered one for the sound font um, we now we need to rename them because they won't work if if they're called as this one is here um, they've both dropped into the top right here look um, this one's called a path I can't follow dot wave it needs to be called track space open brackets one close brackets for it to work with Xenopixel so what we do is we go into that sound files name and we rename it track space open brackets one close brackets and now it's moved down the bottom here it's the same file but we've just renamed it so that it will work with the Xenopixel board and the second one we need to re rename to track two so we just do the same thing and when you are renaming these that space is important if you just put the number after the the name it won't work Xenopixel board requires you to have that space before the number and the brackets um, so you do need to put in the space and the brackets when you're numbering files for um, for Xenopixel. Okay, so um, that's now we've got track one and track two. So when we we activate the music on the saber, um, you do that on a Xenopixel by having the blade off, the blade the the hilt upright and rotating clockwise it will play first of all track one when you stop track one by doing the same thing and then activate it again it will play track two and once track two is finished it will go it will stop and then you when you activate it the next time it will go back to track one um, another thing that we have here we have three files here that are, are named force <coughs> And at the moment, they have like a force sound. So what I'm going to do uh, is delete those. And I'm going to go back to um, our... Um, Kyberphonics font folder and in there you'll see there's a, a, a folder called quotes and you've got Anakin and Vader we're doing uh, an Anakin version so um, you can see there are literally dozens here um, we've got um 266 different quotes so you might want to go through them and pick the ones you want um i'm just going to pick out the first three i found when when you're added of uh, first four sorry um you just do the same thing again you just highlight those copy them come down to your your uh, font folder number one and paste the four items into there they've all come up at the top right here now um, 
these likewise need to be named so that they're going to work when you when you do the force activation on the saber so we're going to go into those and just name them and number them like we did with the um, the tracks but this time we're going to use the name force and then space open air brackets one And you can see now that's dropped down into here and we'll just do that with all of these So they've they've all dropped in here now as force one to four. Um, again, when you're numbering these, important to have the space, important to have the brackets. Um, <clears throat> so now when we activate the force um, effect on the saber, lock on to two. It'll play this quote first, and then the next time you activate it, master. General Grievous' ship is directly ahead. This quote, and so on, through those. When you get to the last one, you can go, it'll go back to the first one. Um, now, I think it's fairly limitless in terms of how many of these files you can put on. I've certainly had in excess of 60 on um, one sound font that I, I did, and it worked perfectly fine. So I don't think there's a limit to the number that you can have you just need to make sure they're numbered in sequence um, and you should be fine and that is all we need to do to replace a sound file on here now so if we ejected this and put it the SD card back into the Sabre now instead of the chosen when we uh, when we go to font one we will get Anakin. The Annie 3 font from Kyberphonics. So that's how we replace an existing font with um, with a, a new font. Don't need to go into the set folder. Don't need to go into the config file if you're just replacing a font. As long as you're replacing a font that has blade settings that are appropriate for the font that you're putting on. So this is an Anakin font. If we go into the config file and we go down, we see um, that because the font we replaced was an Anakin font, then the blade settings are appropriate for an Anakin Sabre. Um, so um, it's it's font number one. It's a blue blade. These three figures are the blade color. Red, green, blue. Zero is no color. So no green, no red, no green. 255 is the maximum of a color. So this is all blue. Um, we've got um, a standard blade. Retraction time, uh, ignition time, retraction time, and again, we've got a standard ignition style. So there's no need to change any of that. And so you just need to make sure that the, the font you're replacing is um, a, has a similar blade style and color to the one that you're putting on. Okay, so that's. Um, that's replacing a sound font, but we may want to add one. So I'm going to take uh, take this um, number one sound font that we've just done in there, and I'm going to pop mm. it onto my desktop. It's just off to the right here. Um, 
and I'm going to rename that. Actually, just bring it back in for a second. So it's here. Before I take it off, I'm going to rename that to number 35. It's 35 because 35 is the next in sequence. I'm just going to remove it from here for a moment. So let's go back to how our card would look fresh from um, fresh from our uh, SD card. So here we go. So we've opened our SD card. We've got all of these folders on there, and now we want to. Um, add an, an, another additional sound font. Now again, I don't think there's any limit to how many sound fonts you can get on here. I certainly haven't found one. Um, they come with 34 on. Um, so I think you can add as many sound fonts as there is space on your SD card to add if you want to. Um, I'm not 100% certain on that because I haven't filled an SD card up to find out. Most of my sabers have uh, uh, smaller numbers of fonts on. I think the most I've got on one is eight. Um, but you may want to um, to uh, um, to add a sound font to the thirty four that are already there. So we're going to grab our folder um, that. Uh, we had on the in the last section and we're going to move that into our sound font so now you see we've got 35 numbered fonts now if you were adding this you would have to fill that folder with all of the files from the sound font that you're going to put in like we did originally with the number one folder um, so you would have to put all of these folders all of these um, sound fonts, sound files into the font folder as well. Um, the other way you could do it is if you if you put a new folder here, you'd number it the next in sequence. So that would be thirty six. That's now thirty six, and then you just open that folder and you copy all of those files into that folder. Um, but we've already got a folder with them all in. We've renumbered it 35. So now we need to set up a blade profile in the config file for that um, for that folder. So we'll go into our config file again. And we'll go down to the blade styles. All of the stuff above here is set for the entire Sabre. Um, the only thing that relates to a particular sound fonts is the information that is in the um, in these um, in these uh, blade style list. Um, so now we're going to go down with we've already got 34. Now what you can do if you um, if you like, if you know you've got um, a, a, a sound font already, find the number of it, go to that line, highlight it, copy it, come down to the next line at the bottom and paste it in and then all you've got to do then is change the number of it to 35 so now when we go to our new 35 sound font that will come up with in this instance blue blade uh, with a, a pulsing blade 500 millisecond um, Ignition, 1000 millisecond retraction, and a standard blade. 
So that's one way of doing it. The other would be just to write a new line in there. So we'll get rid of this one. And then we'll just write exactly what's on the line above. So colour, spelt the American way, hyphen 35 equals open brackets. And we want a blue blade for this because uh, Anakin has a blue blade and it's an Anakin sound file. So we know that the first number is red, so we don't want any red. So that's a zero and then a comma. The punctuation is important in this. If you don't put the commas in, it won't work. Um, then we don't want any green either, which is the next color, red, green, blue. So I'll put a zero and another comma. And then we want maximum blue. So we'll go for 255, which is the maximum number you can put. OK, and then we'll close our brackets. And the next number is um, the blade star. Uh, so uh, um, zero is a fire blade. Two is a pulse blade. And so on. Um, if you look at my previous video, the, the, I give you a list there of um, of what they all are. So on this one, we're going to choose a um, we'll we'll choose a a pulse blade, which I believe is. Uh, yeah just show you this quickly so these are the blade codes for effects so zero is fire blade one is steady two is pulse three is rainbow four is candy blade five is unstable blade and six is crack blade so i'm going to put a pulse blade on here so that next figure needs a comma before it and then a two for the pulse blade and then we'll put a comma after it. Then uh, I'm going to copy the retraction times, uh, uh, the extent, the ignition time, and the retraction time from the the um, the other font. So that was 500 milliseconds for ignition. Then a comma and a thousand milliseconds for retraction. And then we come to ignition styles and. Um, these are here. So zero is a standard blade. One is the blaster blade. That's the one where when you turn it on, nothing happens with the, the, uh, the lighting until you press the button and then you get a blaster bolt along the blade. Ghost blade, when you turn it on, it's uh, movement sensitive, so if it's not moving, you'll get nothing, and the faster you move it, the brighter it will get. And then you've got ignition styles, so broken ignition, warp ignition, stack ignition, phaser ignition, photo ignition, scavenger ignition, and hunter ignition. So um, this is uh, like a, a font for a standard character blade, so I'm just going to put a standard blade in there, which is a one. I think. Did I say it was a one? No, it's a zero. So we'll just put a zero in there for the last figure. And that's it. We've written our line. And all we have to do is save that in the config file. And we're good to go. You can eject your SD card, put it back into the Sabre. And now instead of 34 fonts, you'll have 35 fonts. OK, so let's look at what we would do if we just wanted that one font on here. So what we're going to do is um, highlight all of these folders apart from the set folder. And then we're going to delete all of those.
So now we've just got the set folder. And then we're going to bring in uh, a new folder. We'll make a new folder. And we're going to call that one. Okay. And then I'm going to use the same one that we had, um, the same folder that we had before. Um, it, except I can't because I've deleted it now, haven't I? <laughs> so uh, where was it? 35. We'll bring that back in. Mm. And um, actually what we'll do is uh, we won't put the new folder in. We'll just renumber this one as one. So basically you put your sound, you put a new folder in named one and you put all of your files from your new sound font that you want on your new sound font into that folder. Same as we have done before. But now we'll go into the set folder and we'll go into the config file and we'll go down to the bottom. And now we're just going to highlight all of the, um, the blade styles from two to 35 on this one and we're going to delete those so now we've just got um, a single line here that says color one zero zero two five five one five hundred one thousand zero so this we know is an anakin blade um, if you wanted it to be a different color Let's say we wanted a red blade for this Anakin Sabre instead of a blue one. We'll change the 255 for the blue setting to zero. And we'll change the red setting to 255. And that now, when you turn that on, that will have a red blade. Um, steady blade same retraction times, everything that uh, it was before. We've just changed the color on it. Okay, so again, then you'd save that. And now you can take this out, eject it, put it into your Sabre, and now you'll have just the one sound font on the Sabre. It's simple as that. So I, I hope this has been reasonably easy to follow. Um, and that it explains how you can replace a sound font, you can add a new sound font, or you can get rid of all the sound fonts and just put the one on that you want. Um, or you can put more on, just the more folders you have, you have to remember for each folder, you need a numbered line in the set, in the uh, config file. Um, you need to go into the config file and add a line like the line that's here for each font folder that you've got. So if you had another folder, you'd number it two, and then you'd put another line in with two with the information for that blade. Um, hope that makes sense. And um, yeah. Just uh, leave the computer now and we'll go and um, just have a little chat to finish up on that um, to, uh, yeah, to finish off the video. But hopefully that's, uh, hopefully that's given you some information on how to manage sound fonts on a Xenopixel Sabre. Thank you. Welcome back. Um, so that was how to manage sound fonts on your Xenopixel lightsaber. Not very difficult. Um, the main thing is is getting the um, the naming conventions right. 
So when you're when you're doing uh, when you're renaming files for the Xenopixel and they they need that number, then don't forget it's space open brackets number close brackets. If you don't do it that way, it won't work. Um, and when you're doing the blade lines in the uh, config file, remember all the punctuation that's there. You need all the commas and the brackets and um, the equal signs and the dash signs. So just, if you're not sure, just copy one of the existing lines and then paste that in and modify that with your, your new font number. And you can change all of the things that are on it um, just by highlighting them and changing them. Um, easiest way to go really. So I hope this has been useful. Um, if you like the content, then I would ask you to to um, to give the, the video a like and consider becoming a, a subscriber to the channel if you're not already. If you subscribe and click on the little bell icon, you'll get a notification every time um, that I put new content on the channel. Um, it's also worth having a look at the description in the videos that I post because there's lots of information and links in the description to things like where I buy sabers, where I buy parts for sabers, uh, the costuming group that I work with, Hi Vader's Raiders if any of you are watching. Um, I do various costuming with, with the, this group in the UK called Vader's Raiders. Great co group if, you're, if you want to get into costuming look them up on Facebook. Again, it's a link in the description. So yeah, have a, have a read down there in the, the underneath section as well in the description, because um, there's some really nice links in there for where you can find bits and pieces. Um, there's a, a link there for uh, a website that will tell you those red, green, blue color codes for uh, all sorts of, uh, pretty much any color you want. You can pick a color and it will tell you the code for that color. Um, so that's that's useful when you're you're putting a new font on and you want a particular color for your lightsaber blade. Um, so all there in the description. But anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, hope I haven't waffled on too long. These tend to be a bit longer, these videos, because of the amount of information that needs to be got across. Um, so hopefully I haven't waffled on too long. And um, I hope too that I see you again in the future. But for now, bye.